Hello there, everybody. This is General Snivy, and welcome back to more Let's Play Up Zero Expansion Kit. Today, we're going to be bumping up the difficulty to Expert. What this means is that we're going to dive into an even deeper pit of hell. And this also means that we're over the halfway point of this project, so how freaking awesome is that? Now, to start things off, who should we go with this time? How about you, Arvin Gordon? Arvin Gordon. Yeah, that's it. Fun fact, Arvin Gordon is also known as the Skull over here in the States. Why such a change? I'm not sure. Maybe it's a... Maybe his name is linked to a real-life celebrity? Who knows? Things are weird like that, I suppose. So it's time for the run on expert difficulty. In expert difficulty, you start with three lives to spare as opposed to four from last time. So that means we're going to have even more fun having to hold on to our lives like it's nobody's business. And also the AI gets even more extreme. And also... They also become more aggressive as well, I think. Maybe they do, I can't remember for sure. But I do know that they get a lot harder here. I mean, hence the name, Expert. This difficulty is made for expert racers. Also, I've never pointed this out throughout this entire project, but I've noticed whenever I do a spin attack, I blow up the smithereens. Dang it. Okay, I am back. Now, getting back to what I was saying, I never pointed this out, but whenever you do your spin attack, you actually slow down quite a bit. Why exactly? I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just the way the vehicles are designed, maybe? Who knows? And there we go. Fifth place. Not a bad start, but could have most certainly gone better. That's for sure. And I got a text message. Alrighty. My mother wanted me to come down and talk to her in a minute. Well, more or less, whenever I get a minute to uh, be free. You know what I mean? When I'm finished here, she wants to talk to me. What is she going to talk to me about? I'm not too sure. Maybe it's plans of what we're going to be doing today. By today, I mean today is Sunday, October 5th, when I'm recording this video. So, yeah, a little bit of time in advance, but really, I don't freaking care. Want to know something a little funny? When looking at the three main stats of uh, Arden slash the Skull, <laughs> his rank spells Cad like Caddy. Kind of glitz. <laughs> it's funny because John also had a similar thing going on with uh, his own stats, and it's spelled Dad like D-A-D. Weird. Everything is weird. So, piece of advice for silence. Boost like there's no tomorrow on the higher difficulties. Just be sure not to run into anybody, otherwise you're going to get cleaned. And blow up. Like that. Dang it. Okay, back again. Now let's not blow up like idiots. And there we go. Third place. Much better than last time, that's for sure. Woohoo! Nice. Better than fifth, better than last, and better than dying. Okay, here we go. Next course. Next course, Sand Ocean. Cause Sand Ocean. It's a ocean of sand. Better than the ocean of asparagus, if you know what I mean. 
There's one more thing that I'm going to be pointing out as well. As of expert difficulty, you really should consider increasing the... Increasing that little thing that determines your speed and acceleration. Yeah, you're going to want to mess with that quite a bit. Because I think at this point in the game, the game expects you to know the courses practically by heart. And therefore, you can take much more risks when it comes to adjusting the speed and acceleration of your machine. But hey, at least the payoff will be really good in the end, depending on the, what you set your speed and also your acceleration. To determine what speed and acceleration you should use, take a look at the course preview layout when you're loading up the course. Take a look at it and then decide from there. I believe that's how it's supposed to work. Once again, the more speed you set, the higher speed setting you set, the longer it'll take for you to get to your top speed, but in return you'll have much you'll have a much larger top speed. And the opposite is also true when it comes to acceleration. You be able to reach your top speed relatively quickly, but you lose some of your potential top speed in return. You pretty much have to find a good balance between the two, but most of the time you're just gonna have to just... Really? Knock back and fifth again? Jerk. Alright, Devil's Forest. Another text message? Really? Yes, I did. Okay, sorry about that. Again, mom sent me another text. Why is she annoying me now? I will never know. Alright, time for devils. Quit texting me! Here's one piece of advice you should really take to heart. Never text and drive and try not to talk on your cell phone while driving either. Because that is considered distracted drive distract that. That is considered a distraction and could potentially kill you. I know, there are some states that have a law that say you cannot text while driving. If you do, you'll get a couple points on your license. I've never done any of those things, but I'm just telling you for your own sake so you don't end up making a stupid mistake and then causing yourself to get hurt and also you could also kill somebody else, which I don't want anyone to do that, really. When else are steam shit that I didn't really get a chance to heal at all? And now I'm getting smacked around. Alright, just a wee bit more. Alright, first place! Finally, I won a race! <laughs> nice, this, this should hopefully bump me back up a couple of positions. And it does. It bumps me right back into third place. That's nice. I would have preferred to have second, but whatever. Can't have what you want in life all the time. Alright, time for Big Blue. Big Blue Shoes. I want those. Not really. Guys, we gotta save Christmas. Again, why am I bringing up Christmas? It's not even Halloween. It's so stupid. Speaking of which, I want to hear from you guys. I want to ask this question to you all. If you have been out to the store recently, or at all, 
What was the earliest point in time of which you've seen Christmas decorations out in like a general store, like a Walmart or a Sam's Club or some other store that you go to? Would love to hear your story. As for me, I've seen Christmas stuff as early as the around mid-September. That's how early I've seen the stuff. I wonder if people have seen the stuff as early as August. Who knows? Who knows for sure? Hmm, final lap and I'm only 18th, 17th place, whatever. Dang, I really gotta get back in this race! Come on, man! Oh boy, I'm already about dead. Hopefully they won't ram my butt and then send me to hell. I mean... Arvin is... Arvin's a skeleton. He's a walking skeleton brought back from the dead. Most likely by the powers of, say, Black Shadow and Zoda, but... Who knows? I don't know Arvin's history. Or his biography or anything like that. I really don't. I haven't looked up too many people's biography. The only biography I remember from the top of my head was one with James McCloud, but that's about it. Alright, time for the last course, Port Town. And it looks like we're not going to be able to win this cup, but we will at least be able to get either fifth if we finish with a good position, or we'll end up getting third. It would be nice to get into a high position like third place, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see what happens. The only thing left to do now is to dive in head first like a headless chicken and see where it goes, see where it takes us. Oh, shut up, Mr. Announcer. I know I need to watch my back. Because people are so freaking aggressive and are ready to take your head at any time, anywhere. But guess what? I'm ready to take theirs anytime, anywhere. Just as long as I can hit them. And I'll just make them explode instead of making them bounce around. Come on. There we go. Alright, 12 place so far, time for the final lap. Let's see what we can do here. There we go, got another kill, so that's one more person that bites the dust as I crash into debris. You don't want to crash into debris, you really don't. Even though that should be plain obvious, but some people like to do that. Shut Mr. Announcer. I know I need to watch my back. And ninth place. Well, dang it. Oh well, better than nothing. And let's see what our final position is. I'm gonna say sixth or seventh. Nope, it's fifth. Okay, I'll take fifth. And if you drop the fourth position or lower, you get a different uh, winner screen of sorts. Expect this screen to appear quite a bit throughout Expert and also Master Difficulty. There will be some exceptions to, to the rule, but most of the time it is going to be here. Why? Because I'm not the greatest F-Zero racer that ever lived. Really. But hey, what can I say? I did my best. And like I stated before, you don't get any character portrait endings or anything like that. You just do a couple of laps around here, look at your total rank and your position, and it just cuts to the end saying, thanks for playing. And that's all there is to it. So this ending screen is technically shorter than, say, if you make it within the top three. But whatever. Things happen, I suppose. This is General Snivy with Let's Play Up Zero Expansion Kit. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Next time, we're going to be going off to the Queen Cup on Expert Mode, so hope you're looking forward to that, and I'll see you all later.